Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full of Simplicity. In today's video, I'll be unboxing the Hedgewitch Botanical Oracle by Silo or Silo, I'm not sure how to pronounce the first name, Thompson. I'm super excited because I've wanted this deck forever and I finally purchased it. <laughs> I finally purchased it. I love this deck so much. I've seen it around on mostly um, Boho Tarot's channel and I just love plant decks so I'm like in, absolutely in love and um, the author of this deck has a new oracle deck that's going to be coming out or has already come out by the time you see this video I'm not sure and it's an animal one so I really want to get that one as well because I love plant decks and I love animal decks so yes so this is uh, published by a Llewellyn as you can see here Llewellyn this is beautiful so this is the back of the deck so in the back it says wisdom from the boundary lands let the spirits of the plants be your allies and friends this gracefully illustrated deck will support you with insights gleaned from traditional herb lore providing guidance and perspective from the thin places between one world and another designed to awaken your natural intuition this collection of 40 elegant botanical cards from the creator of the Line Strider Tarot draws inspiration from healers and helpers who work in the mysterious realms of wilderness and spirit. So the book is uh, 192 pages. And of course it's color because it's, it's Llewellyn. So yeah, I absolutely love this. Um, I do have the Line Strider Tarot on my wish list, but I haven't picked it up yet. I know that this author also has um, another tarot deck called The Other Kin, but I don't like the imagery of that one, so not something I'd pick up. So as always, the deck outside was shrink-wrapped and the cards inside were shrink-wrapped. Just to let you know, there is a ribbon, which is really cute. Love that. And this is what it looks like inside. We have the ribbon falling out. I think you can take this thing out, but I'm going to leave it there. So in the U.S. it does retail for $27.99. I did pick this up for like $36 something Canadian. Okay, let's put this here. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the guidebook first absolutely love it is there anything oh yeah okay this is a different completely different wording in the back so it says uh discover how to draw wisdom from the mystical realms of plant and spirit this book shows how to use the Hedwich uh botanical oracle a lovely deck created with uh, artist silo or silo thompson's a unique sense of gentle beauty, including the names, oracle properties, and symbolic meanings of the featured plants. The Hedge Witch's Field Guide is an essential resource for working with these powerful cards. Whether you're seeking a focal point for meditation or answers to specific questions, this guide will help you utilize your intuition as you explore the boundary lands between this world and the ethereal plane. Okay. So let's see what we've got here. So the paper is that kind of waxy paper. We have table of contents. Introduction, how to use the cards on forging and plant use. Index card, index of cards. Closing thoughts, um, sources and suggested reading, and then additional recipes using forged ingredients. Okay. Ooh, I love the pomegranate. Cute. Okay, so how to use the cards. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Can be used as an oracle deck, flashcards, meditation. 
Okay, so they're not intended to be read in reverse. But you can, of course, read reverses if you want to. You do use pretty much that. Okay. Okay, so what do we got here? Wow, we have a big picture of the card. Okay, we have a bunch of names for this card, I'm guessing. Uh, wow, it goes into a lot of detail. Okay. Adaption. Okay, so it goes into different detail depending on the card. Interesting. Okay, so I guess I will read. Well, I always read a card, but I'll read a card at the end and we'll see what that specific card says. Okay. So it seems like there's no spreads or anything for There's some recipes and stuff at the back. Okay. Let's put that there. So here are the backs, which I actually really like. I find them very pretty. So they are typical Llewellyn cardstock, which is fine with me. I actually really like the cardstock at Llewellyn. Not everyone does, but that's you. <laughs> so we have Bear Berry. That is a weird Bear Berry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, strength. And we have blackberry, adaption, borage, courage, burdock, tenacity, calendula, brighten, cattail, build. Chamomile or chamomile soothe. Chicory sustain. Clover nurture. Cohush, cohush, no idea. Never even heard of this. Repel. Dandelion humility. Daylily. What empiral? What? I don't even know what that is. Jesus. Dogwood defend. I'm going to have to Google that word after. Elder ritual. Burn growth. Foxglove connection. Garlic service. Ghost Pipe Mystery Golden Poppy Dream Hawthorne Sacred Hollyhock Abundance Huckleberry Resourcefulness Indigo Enhance Juniper Invigorate Ladies Miracle. Oh, sorry. Ladies Mantle. Why did I say Miracle? I don't even know. Magic. Marshmallow. Adversity. Moral or Morel. Uh, regenerate. Nettle. Tribulation. Pine. Preserve. Uh, plantain, nourish. Wild rose, clarity. Rowan, protection. 
sage, purify, uh, salal, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, subdue, uh, samphire, samphire, I think, adventure, uh, St. John's Wort, Stabilize, Strawberry, Enjoy, Trout Lily, Patience, Violet, Attract, oh, and lastly, uh, Wormwood, Caution. Okay, so let's... I read this, I guess. Humility. Yeah, I love how they shuffle, and these are like perfect for my hand size. I love Llewellyn Jacks. Always so good. Okay, so. Let's read Dandelion. Uh, dandelion, here we go. Uh, I don't know how to read the Latin. Let's attempt. Um, Terra Zaxcum Oficinale, I think is how you pronounce that. Uh, Blowball. Lion's Tooth, Cankerwort, Milkwitch, Yellow Gowen, Irish Daisy, Monk's Head, and Priest's Crown are other names that the dandelion goes by. Dandelions are considered a weed, but every part of this amazing plant is edible. Provided the plant has not been sprayed with weed killer, dandelion leaves can be eaten raw, steamed, fried, or blanched. The flowers can be eaten raw, fried, or used to make wine. The root can be dried, ground, and roasted for use as a coffee substitute similar to chicory, or it can be prepared as a root vegetable. It is a general stimulant to the digestive system and the urinary organs especially. A tincture is made from the tops or the root, all parts of the plant contain a somewhat bitter, milky juice, in brackets latex, that is used for uh, medicinal purposes. Combined with citrus and various other ingredients, the flower petals are used to make dandelion wine. Dandelion is one of the ingredients in traditional root beer. Dandelion leaves contain abundant vitamins and minerals, especially vitamins A, C, and K, and are good sources of calcium, potassium, iron, and manganese. Manganese. Manganese? Manganese? No idea. Uh, the English name dandelion is a derivative of the French dent du lion, meaning lion's tooth. Referring to the tooth ap appearance of the dandelion leaf. This homely little plant is a constant reminder that just because something is common or even vilified does not mean it is useless. The dandelion has a rich history going back thousands of years that twins together the human efforts. Uh, though humble, close to the ground and found in every corner of the world, this plant is a gift. It is full of nutrients. The humans, animals, and countless butterflies and other insects can use. When you feel underappreciated or invisible, remember the dandelion and its ability to flourish. Seen from a different perspective, the oracle property humility is needed when assessing our own importance in a given situation or relationship. Are you overestimating your own contributions, value, or difficulties? It's very easy to slip into a narcissi narcissistic sorry, mindset. After all, we 
are each at the center of our own universe. However, it is sometimes essential to step back and be very honest about where we stand in relation to others. Everyone wants to be heard and feel valued. Are you doing your best to see others in in as kind of a light as you see yourself? Okay, so this is the card, the other names. This is all about the plant. And then there's a picture here. This is Oracle related. All this. Uh, they also list the other names here and the Oracle property, which is the keyword. So final thoughts. Absolutely love this deck. The book is amazing. Like I didn't even know half those things about the dandelion. So that was fantastic. There was one card that I need to look up because I have no idea what the hell the keyword is. Let me find it. I have never seen this word in my life. <laughs> I'm almost 30 years old and I've never seen this word in my life. So I'm going to have to look that up because I have no idea what the hell that means. Actually, maybe it says in the book. Let's see. Which flower is that? Daylily. Daylily. Nope, just gives me the oracle message. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. But yes. As always, for Llewellyn decks, love the cardstock. I know some people don't like it because they think it's thin or something, but I love it. I find it fantastic. I don't actually find it thin whatsoever. Like, I find it a good thickness and easy to shuffle because of the gloss that it is. It's very easy to shuffle. It doesn't stick together, which is very nice. And I don't know, I just really, really love this deck. I'm excited to use it. I'm going to read the guidebook and go through it more. That way I can learn more about the plants that are in here and just uh, learn more about what the author says in the beginning also. So let me know in the comments below if you have this deck or if there's something that's uh, that is something that you're interested in uh, in getting or what do you think about the imagery or like the guidebook entry that I read. Love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on that bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated. And I hope that you have a great day. Thank you.